I got the last of the filler done on this thing. This thing is ready to be primered. I'll show you the. Got it nice and smooth everywhere. Got it trimmed where I wanted it. Uh, only thing is, uh, there's one more thing I want to do this uh, dash is I want to extend it out a little bit farther. When I installed this dash, I realized it, it's got a bit of a gap back here. I think my other dash had the same problem. So what I'm going to do is add a half inch slip all the way across that kind of angles down like the stock pad. And then I should be done with this thing. All right, next uh, step I'm going to do here is this dash is an original 1TV dash. And I don't know how many of you guys have an original 1TV dash, but most of the dashes... If you notice when you install them, there's a gap. You can see the, the metal part of the, the dash. This part, let me show you what I'm talking about. You see this white part? Because my car was painted white before. You'll see about an inch of that all the way across. So um, that means the dash is a little bit too short. And the original dash, dash pad that's in your car kind of, it ends and then it kind of dips down. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that, make it extend it out about an inch, and then I'm going to have it kind of go up a little bit. That, so I'm going to have that downward um, stock dash pad look to mine. And I'm using foil tape to keep it, uh, and I kind of put a bend into the foil tape, which it, it, it's not the best way to do it, but it's the, the quickest way I can think off the top of my head to get this done. And then I'm going to use some X mat, which is really thick. This is almost it's like 27 ounce mat so that's only probably only need one layer and so yeah that's what I'm gonna do right now because I don't like the fact that this dash when you put it in there you can see that metal piece uh, some people might not care but to me it's just kind of bothersome so I'm gonna get this done and uh, trim it up add some filler in there and uh, see how it looks well this is just step one Alright, it's a warm day, so this thing's dried in about 20-30 minutes. Um, so now you can see it's all glassed in. Now I got the extra, I don't know, it's about 2 inches or so. And so now I have it angled at the down angle, just like the stock one was. Uh, I kind of did it, you know, with tape. Uh, I know a lot of vendors, they, uh, they actually mold the dash pad, but I'm pretty good with my hands, pretty good with my eyes. I'm pretty good at figuring out the angles of stuff so I, I just did it like this and so yeah this so when it sits it should sit more uh, down now at the edge and cover up that metal strip in the car and that's what I was going for because I, I really don't want that showing up so I'm going to trim this up and uh, test fit in the car and see how it fits alright got the dash in there and now without even cutting it you can see that you can see where I glassed in a piece. Sorry, it's so dusty in here. But you can see that it tucks right in under the windshield all the way across. So no longer will I have a gap there showing the piece of metal. It fits in there like a glove. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, one last video. So right now it's pretty much pushed in there. It's all nice and lined up on this side and then we got the top view and the way that I angled it at the end you won't even see the angled part but it will conceal whatever color car your, your uh, Trans Am is so if you had a red car it's going to be painted red there this car was white so it was white there so if I didn't add this wh whoever bought this dash and installed it whatever color car you had without painting there you would see it so now uh, at least that's one less thing you, you'd have to do. You don't have to paint your car right there if you don't want to. Because this will conceal that that metal area and you won't see it. And I'm pretty impressed with the fit. It fits way better now just by adding that in here. So now it's ready to go. Ready to primer. I just got to put some filler over it and uh, get this thing primered and ready to mold. It's probably going to have to be a three part mold because of the underbelly. It's going to be very difficult for me to pop and make these. So... Um, price is going to go up a little bit, but uh, that's what happens when you make new stuff. It's when you make things more complicated. 
also might redo this voice box I don't like this I'm gonna have to add it up a little bit on both sides because I like to draw mine out I don't like to use the templates that they, that you get for this I like to just make my own squares yeah it's getting there all right doing one last test fit just have this pod kind of sitting on there it's not bolted or anything it's lining up pretty good it's a little bit off right here but that's no big deal I could just sand that down a little bit goal is just kind of sitting on there it's not bolted or anything I got nice access to my turn signals here uh, it does look like I'll be able to get in there and turn the key as well I don't know if you can see that the, the key is right there and yeah nothing's hitting Got the underbelly for the lower console there. This under piece over here. Top piece is looking good. I'd say that I'm ready to go on this thing. Ready to mold. Uh, just one more less, one more thing. I want to do this pod before I mold it because I don't like when it's cut out. I like to have it where it's nice and flush. So if somebody wants the flush look by making their own squares in here, they can do that. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to work on that. That will be one of the last things I do to this. Or right before I primer it and get it ready to mold. It looks like i got a gap of about, I don't know, maybe a half an inch from the gold wing to the pod. But it's not bolted down either. So uh, You could always pull back the dash if you need to. If you got more gap than you want. But yeah, this is coming out good. Sorry for the bright light. It's a sunny day. So we test fitted it and the fit was great. All I had to do was cut off the edges. And since it fit great, it slid right in under the windshield. I don't need to cut it. I'm going to leave it right where it's at. I'm just going to add a little bit of filler. Skim coat it a couple times. That way it blends in with the rest of the dash. And then I can primer the dash and be done with it nice when you do something once and you get it right the first time hate when I have to do things over and over so I got I lucked out on this got real lucky alright first layer of fillers on there and always you're gonna have to put another layer There's little little uh, low spots here and there but there's three low spots there a couple there of course you're not gonna see this it's gonna be up on the windshield but uh... might as well fix it no point to be making a mold and having the parts come out all wavy. So, one more layer of filler, and I'll take another video. All right, couple coats later, nice and smooth. It's all finished, ready for primer. Up, oh, have a little tiny hole there. <laughs> uh, always more filler. But anyways, it's mostly done. It's looking real good. Um, now it's going to fit right up under that windshield nice and perfectly the way it should. The way I think it should. So yeah, and that's it for today. I think I'm done for the day. This, this thing's ready to be primer pretty much. Uh, probably going to mess with the voice box though a little bit right before I primer it. So, But that's it for today. Alright, I can't help myself. I had to do this right before I went in. Um, first coat of uh, filler to fill in that spot because again I like to drill in my own holes for the box and you can't do that if that's indented or cut out already so one more layer of this and smooth it out should be good okay now I got this voice box nice and flat put a couple layers of filler still got to put a little more here down here and a little bit on the side so if you get like Jupiter's vo uh, voice box template with his voice box you could either cut this out in the shape of this and seat it in there or you can cut out a big hole or you can use these side pieces that it gives you and drill your own holes that's what I like to do just cut my own holes and then uh, cut this out and then you mount your voice box this is a old one that I had it's, it's broken then you mount this behind and it's much better I don't know I just like it flat better because uh, if you gotta make your squares 
your voice box. It's just a lot easier to be able to do it when it's flat. So, still got to tweak this up a little bit for the pod to fit perfectly. It's a little bit off on this side, so I'll just put some filler in there tomorrow, but I'm done for the day.